Welcome back to Arise and Shine. What's the new trend in food? Well, it's got six legs and has ruined many a picnic. That's right, we're talking ants. Here to show us his recipe for black ant margaritas and guacamole with black ant dust is the owner of the Black Ant Restaurant in New York City, Jorge Guzman. Jorge, thank thanks so, so much for being with here. Thank thank you. Here. So talk to us. What is the concept behind the black ant dust and how is it that you incorporate insects into your food and make it so alluring? Well, in Mexico, this has been since the 16th century. Mm -hmm. But it's not really like coming out. Like it's, it's all over the world, but in Mexico specifically, uh, in terms of the grasshoppers, the black ants, it's been from the Spanish times. When the Spanish came, they mm -hmm. this used to be like a ritual every day, you know, the people used to do this it's like a snack, people used to eat right. this every day. But when the Spanish people came, uh, they took, they, they kind of took this and, and everybody that did something bad in those times, they kind of punished this. They huh. kind of punish them, so it became like a punishment. For oh, wow. So instead so of a delicacy, why, so it was always yeah. a delicacy is what you're saying. Yeah, so that's why it kind of disappeared a little bit for like mm -hmm. some time, and then it came back again, but it's always been there. And now you're bringing it back. You're bringing uh, yeah. it to New York. Um, and so tell us about the food and what we're seeing here. So here we have a, we have a, one of our, a specialty, which comes from Oaxaca. It's a ah, tlayuda. I lived in Oaxaca. Yeah, it's oh. originally like a representative <laughs> dish from Oaxaca. Okay. You can also see it in, in Mexico City a lot in Guadalajara. What's but it it's called? Mostly, it's called tlayuda. Tlayuda. Which is like a, basically, a, they usually do like in large torti uh, uh, tortilla rings. Mm -hmm. In this case, we do a small, like a tostada. It's mm -hmm. basically like a thin crusted tostada, like half fry. So it gets like, it's kind of crunchy and Ooh, soft at the nice. same time. Then you and put a little bit. What are the bugs on there? <laughs> uh, the bugs on top, those are grasshoppers. Wow. Which basically we catch them and, and the season is usually like once a year. Right. In May, early of May, when the rain comes, the rain season. Mm -hmm. And uh, they catch them, uh, you have to wash them, put it, in, put it in salt water for like wow. three minutes, take it out. So it's basically dehydrated. Mm -hmm. oh, then nice. when, when you're ready to cook it, you, you cook it with a, uh, many people cook it in different ways, but the traditional way is usually so like... what's the typical reaction of someone who comes into yeah, your restaurant in New York City? It's very, it's very interesting, like, because we wanted to create this, this ant theme uh, restaurant because we wanted to do something new. Right. I feel like in, in New York, it's a lot of, re, you know, a yeah, lot of Mexican, repetition, right. It's a lot of repetition, so right. we wanted to go, like, instead of doing all these colors, we wanted to go with black colors, uh, black tiles, we wanted to go with the, some of the insects that in Mexico, they've already been so for a long time. But in New York, we wanted to do a trendy, you know? Right. It's been already in New York, but not like in a trendy, alluring way that the but way so we want to do But so people are coming to your restaurant and they know that there is going to be this on the menu, right? Yeah. If and they, most they're of the, excited about it. Yeah, 80% of the people that come to the restaurant, they, they know we do ants and grasshoppers, worms, and and so on. That's and kind obviously of thing. you're getting a good reception. I mean, <laughs> right. you have people coming into your restaurant every day, right? Yeah, we have. We are very busy right now. Mm -hmm. Thanks God. And, and what's what's one of the your your surprise dishes, which is something that people go in and you're like, you need to taste this. You need to have this. I think one of the most popular right now with insects is the tlayuda, which yeah. which oh, is wow. this one right here. Yeah, we'll have to maybe and also the guacamole with, with ants, as you can see over here. Yeah, and so then we also know that you can use the black ant dust not just in food, but also in drinks, right? In drinks, right. too. Also, the drinks of one of the drinks that I'm going to make today is also really popular. So, yeah, show yes, us. Please. Let's get started. So I'm first, I'm going to make uh, the spicy uh, black ant margarita with the oh, chile, brown sugar, and and ant rim. Okay, I'm that excited. Sounds, I already make I already sexy. make the mix over okay. here, so I'm just gonna pour. Okay, I love margaritas yeah, right. and I love no, no, spiciness. No, no. I don't know how I feel about ants yet because I haven't <laughs> had that, but I the first two I'm doing good with, so I think it's gonna be great. Um, and is this something, this by the way, while you're making this, I don't know if you want to explain oh it, but also is this something that you grew up with too, using all the blank, black ant dust? I basically didn't grow up with that, mm -hmm. more was my chef. I'm from the Dominican Republic. Okay, okay. so you and learned then, the techniques from And then shop. I learned, I kind of went into this concept after we started the black ant cool. and researching. So I'm gonna put some uh, lime on the rim. Lime on the rim. Okay. This is over here, this is uh, the ant uh, rim. It's gonna rim so it up it's a little all bit. basically oh, no. ground up in there. Yeah, it's all basically like ant powder with brown sugar, sea salt, and chile morita. Oh, she says awesome. <laughs> spicy yeah. chili. Oh. 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 <laughs> this is one of the perks of uh, having the show that like, we can dance inappropriately <laughs> drink at 9:30 in the morning. But. This is wonderful. <laughs> I'm gonna pour it now. Who's tasting? 
Um, what's the other drink you're making? <laughs> I think then we can decide. This one is a little smoky, spicy, kind of complements the brown sugar. All right, and I'll volunteer for, You'll this volunteer one. for that one. All right, yeah. I'll do the other one. What's the What's the other drink that you're gonna make? So the other drink is gonna be the Yumkax, which means uh, the the god of the coin. That's why we made it. This mm -hmm. is a very interesting and unique drink. Okay. They actually came out on the top ten most uh, innovative drinks in the country oh, on wow. Lico.com. Now I'm jealous. <laughs> she gets the top ten most innovative drink. Yeah. So oh. on this one, I'm gonna put añejo tequila, oh, two tequila. ounces. Tequila in the morning, I know. I'm ready. Yeah, right there. I think the rest of our show is gonna be very <laughs> interesting from now on. Yeah, I know you're gonna be dancing from now on. So on this one, I'm gonna put some lime, lime juice. Oh, okay. yeah. I'm gonna put some agave. You know, it makes Tough me want to go home too and have all this stuff so I can. So, did you huh? come up with this concept? Uh, yes, I came up with it, kind of like the drinks and the concept. Wow! So it this must have a... been very uh, professionally rewarding to get the top ten most innovative drink. Right. Yeah, I wanted to. The, the idea is behind is to do everything different, everything new, everything fresh. Uh, here, I'm going to use three type of herbs on this one. Oh which is, wow! This is a hibiscus leaf. Okay. Fresh. Yeah, we know that you're well, you're a mixologist as yeah. well. That's right, an important absolutely. thing to yes. note. You're not just a chef; you're also a mixologist. And I kind of consult too on the on the front of the house, interior design, and so you're a jack of all yeah. trades. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to learn it all. Yeah. Can you do one thing? What's this, this one is a pitiona, which comes from the valleys of Oaxaca. It's like a verbena okay. leaf. Okay. Like kind of like a perfume touch. This one is Oja Santa, which means Oja uh, Santa. Wait, holy so leaf. I want to make sure, are there going to be insects and rains drink too? On this one, I'm going to do a, a ring made of worms. Oh, oh yes. right, I get the worms. <laughs> <laughs> you get the worms. <laughs> You're excited, I can tell. I know, I'm <laughs> Look, I'll try anything once. This is so neat. <laughs> this is going to be amazing. Again, some the lime. Rim. So the lime and the rim. And... So are you always coming up with more drink concepts. Yeah, you have to, this industry, you have to always come up with so, new drinks. So we have like the foods from Oaxaca, and what other, what other rural areas, let's say, and of, of Mexico, would there be other delicacies of insect, and how would it be used? Like we know that's, you know, of Oaxaca, but what about? Usually grasshoppers, the, it's very traditional in Oaxaca, but also in Mexico City, because Mexico City is basically the cooking of all Mexico, all type of mm -hmm. cooking from everywhere. Right, so it's a more people there, it's like 20 million people there. So grasshoppers there is like, a, as well as Oaxaca, it's like a snack. Usually right. like in the sport events, local sport events, mm -hmm. when you go out there in the stadiums, that's what they have outside. So it's, it's, like, like, so it's like the peanuts. They're peanuts, yeah. yeah that's what peanuts, I was peanuts and basically like, a, it's like <laughs> potato chips. It's, it actually tastes like potato chips, crunchy. Can I, can I try one? Of course. I'm gonna try a potato chip. Oh boy, <laughs> yeah, this is, okay. You're That's very adventurous, I, You know, why not? But you know what, I, I think I, I that. Didn't, I didn't like it before, but then but once now I started you do, it grew on you. You know what? Good. What do you think? It's like a spicy potato chip. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's oh a my little goodness. kick. It's got a little kick. And so you no actually. No pun intended, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> you go all the way to Mexico to get the ants, right? For the yeah, restaurant? Yeah, we go like three times a year. Okay. We try to bring it through, through custom, you know, I sometimes mean, we get caught and. Oh, okay. yeah, I bet that's interesting. Why does this man have I all these ants? Yeah, yeah. Um, but so, I mean, do I the Mexican... I want my drink, Priya. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's try it. Wait, this one's mine, right? So that one is okay. a smoky jalapeno okay, margarita with rain. ant salt. Oh, um, good. The the worm, I, you know, you think of the worms, and I'm thinking worms, but it's okay. a little warm salt. I'm excited. <laughs> wow. Ooh. It's really good. It is really good. And I'm, spicy has a kick, and this one is Yeah. But so what I wanted to ask is... um. Do the Mexican ants taste different than New York City ants? I mean, why do you have to go on an airplane to go get them? I haven't tried New York City ants, but... <laughs> but I mean, is there something special about these ants that you get in Mexico? Because you said you go down there three times a year. Is that just to replenish your... It's because your... It's, a, it's a tradition, and those are, that's, that's, those those are the areas? ones they eat, what they call chicatanas. Chicatanas, ant, Which is right. the black ant. Mm -hmm. And I didn't explain a little bit about that, how, yeah, why we call it the black ant, which that's okay. why we're using ants. Yes, yes, please. So basically, it's, it's basically Quetzalcoatl, which is a, a Aztec god, yes, that turned into a black ant to wow. go to the valleys and bring corn, the maize, to Mexico, to the village, because they were starving. So that's how, that's the myth, that's how mm -hmm. kind of like the, 
the, the corn came to, to the villages and of Mexico. And can you tell me a little more about the guacamole? Because that I'm really interested in. That. I love this guacamole. This guacamole is not a tradi It's not. A, it has some traditional ingredients, but right. it's not a traditional way of making it. So we wanted to do the put our touch. So on this one, we we put like some little bit of pop. Uh, can I? Can I? Of course. We put like a pop, uh, here, corns, toasted mm -hmm. corns, and then ant powder, and kind of like saute ants on top, entire ants. Wait, so that's the thing, the little black things on yeah, top? I feel like ants. going to a picnic all the time. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have an ant picnic, no? <laughs> what, so one of the most uh, favorite items on your menu, would that be this, and also the guacamole? Do you get? Uh, mm, the most famous are the guacamole, uh, uh, definitely the tlayuda. We mm -hmm. also have a guarache de nopal, which is uh, basically like a, a uh, corn boat mm -hmm. with cactus, uh, asadero cheese, wow. fig marmalade, that's kind of wow. sweet, spicy, uh, chile pasilla sauce. Uh, we also have uh, some uh, duck dumplings, which are deep fried mm -hmm. with the uh, uh, with the mole sauce, black Oaxaca oh. mole sauce, and cotija cheese. That's also Amazing. Like, like well, we're going to have to come and so visit excited. your restaurant. Thank you Thank so you much, much Jorge. for making all this stuff. I think that the guacamole me. would bug me if I ate too much. Oh, <laughs> and I'm going to go to a picnic. Can I order it with the black ant dust on the side and my drink? Oh my God, this is delicious. Yeah, we'll have to look into that. But coming up next, there's much more on the show. If you're inspired by today's New York Marathon runners, it's time to get off the couch. Running coach Nicole Rodriguez will show you a regimen that will get you up to speed in no time. Stay tuned, you're watching Arise and Shine.